What is up, car addicts? This is a series where I take fully modified super and sports cars on a stunt style track to find the best lap time for proper racing. In this video, we are going to be discussing the lap time retest for the Emperor ETR1. As always, I put a minimum of 10 laps into each vehicle. In this case, I achieved the best lap within 10 laps. The downforce was changed with this car, and that's why it had to be retested due to the lap time being affected. I definitely feel a difference here with the way this car handles. It has a lot of understeer now compared to before. The turn in and steering response is still good, pretty much the same as it was before, but the handling is leagues away from what it used to be. Before the handling was pretty much godly, it had the second fastest lap on this particular track before downforce was changed. Now, eh, not so much. It is about a whole two seconds per lap slower, according to my testing on this specific track, than it was before. It honestly is a shame, but hopefully Rockstar will stop making dramatic changes to performance of vehicles when they themselves were the ones who created the mistakes. Well, that's it, guys. As always, I will put the link to a spreadsheet with all the supercar lap times I have tested so far in the description and comment section below if you want to compare the uh, lap times on a very nice chart. Also, if you go to my channel under playlists, you will find all the track testing videos along with the pre-nerfed vehicles in a separate playlist there as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.